Okay, so someone actually tried to cancel Toast by labeling him as a problematic and a racist content creator. So, you know, it's a very dumb and stupid when you saw that these things are from the past. That means this happened years ago. And these people who made, who made the thread and actually emailed those about these things are, for me, to be honest, it's like just bringing him down by bringing up these um, issues that actually happened years ago. And especially the fact that these things, these things are actually made because of the humor. So, I'm actually not going to talk about the thread because it's a very long, like literally very long, very long, sorry. So, what I'm actually going to talk about is Toast response about the situation. So, it's actually... It's actually very long also, but at least, unlike the thread, I mean, this response seems more precise and, you know, like a very straight to the point about everything. So, okay, so before I start on the actual issues that he um debunked or talked about, I will start off with one of the things he said on the tweet longer. So, he's... Toasted said that someone emailed me a list of a problematic things I've done in the in their eyes and that's making the rounds in the Twitter stand circles. And normally I would just say, just don't watch my content, not in a dismissive manner. So it's actually very true though, because if you don't like his humor, his content, or like him personally, then don't watch it. Then then don't watch him. Like literally you're just making your own problem and to be honest that's what i think like most of the people from cancel culture do do nowadays like if they don't like the content or the creator or the videos they will still keep watching this like what the hell just leave and find another people to watch if you don't like them and then he also pointed out this text, but it has been brought to my attention that there are literally people crying about it and even dragging the people I care about, namely my friends in OTV and Amigops, into it by pressuring them and condemning them for interacting with me. Okay, this is the real problem because I think this is because of the overuse of the parasocial um, relationship between the viewer and the content creator because some people are like stands or fans think that they can control and own their favorite cre- content cre- content creator like literally you don't they have their own lives they have their own minds you don't need to pressure them or like stop them or like gatekeep them from interacting with each other especially that they're friends with those like that's just very stupid and i don't know okay so let's actually start now by um looking at what toast actually said about the issue like his statement and his opinion his explanation of the issue going around so number one he's a racist in an otv video from two years ago where we did a don't laugh challenge in an attempt to get a subject to laugh i read out a race joke of a website it was all bleeped out but if you go looking for it you'll find the full version okay so here's the thing two years ago two years ago i think dark humor or like edgy jokes are like totally fine or like kind of fine in the platform and especially the fact that they are playing a don't laugh challenge so of course they will need to find something they need to laugh and to be honest joking around like anything about race or like racism doesn't make someone racist like it's just a joke like people are so sensitive nowadays that even though the joke that's supposed to be a race joke that doesn't shouldn't be affect them because that's not the race are being offended for some reason like i know you want to protect someone or like 
you want to protect people from that race but it's just a joke and uh, people like people from that race doesn't even find it offensive and and people like this are like being offended because i want to protect those people like they don't need protection because why would they be protected like it's just a joke okay so for number two <coughs> he's racist off stream in a podcast with destiny i mentioned that privately streamers say and do things the public would find distasteful this is the truth okay this one okay like i actually think the reason why is because like people are getting fooled by the persona that the streamers actually showed that's why if something like an issue pop out out of nowhere that they are bad people like people are so shocked because they didn't expect that from them because they create an imagery of that person that oh this streamer is so wholesome in this on her stream or like on his or her stream so that means this person must be a good person people have that kind of thought that i mean everyone have their lives you know that those streamers have those normal lives like they made mistakes they may have they may have made bad things but it's because they're humans you know like they're people okay for number three he promotes pedophilia during a game of fictionary the prompt was illegal and i draw a stick figure of a young girl obviously meaning pedophilia is illegal okay this thing remind me of um a jockbox um issue you know like it's just a game like the this type of game like the game actually give you prompt and the streamers or like the people are just following what the game has given to them like it's not their fault and it's not their um will to actually do it and it's so sad that some people can't understand that and will take everything out of context just to cancel the the streamers because of what they draw and what they did on a game that's supposed to be that way okay so for number four and number five i will actually mix this up because of the same reason okay so for but first for number four toe said or like the tweet longer said that i am a rape advocate and then for number five that he thinks there's nothing wrong with using the r slur okay there's actually nothing to talk about here it's because Toast explanation said that both of these things are actually not like there's no evidence included or clips along in the email so this is probably taken out of context or like the provider is probably just making up stories now like literally trying just to bring toast down and then he actually let's remove that from everything because that's literally useless and senseless but okay so toast did apologize also but i'm actually not go not going to touch that anymore but i'm going to read something out that i actually find very sweet and very eye-opening especially um in the world of cancer cancel culture especially on the stance part so here it is that the one thing i ask is to leave my friends alone they were they are wonderful people that don't deserve any hate for associating with me boycott my content cancel me whatever but don't drag them into it by pressuring them or demanding an apology from them just because we play games together final thing if you use my friend's face as your twitter profile picture or their names in your handle and you go around attacking other fandoms or use it to cause drama between fan bases change it go the frick up you gave them a bad name and they don't deserve that this ge- this goes double for any of my fans because i've thought you all better than that so this is actually very true though especially like the um the part where most of the people from cancel culture or like the people who are trying to cancel someone are actually have a twitter profile picture of a famous um content creator like i'll give example like the dream stance you know like 
I believe Dream is a great content creator, but his name is getting tainted because of those Dream stands, you know, like those dumb kids, those dumb white 14-year-old girls. And to be honest, they're not doing anything good for their favorite content creator because they're literally giving them, them a bad name, which is crazy and very, very dumb so before i actually ended this i wanted to read something um it's actually a twitter comment but on toast post and even scara actually pointed this out so hear this nobody is owed an apology for every little thing that offends them especially when they are not involved with it at all we all get offended at things in life but it doesn't always have to involve an explanation or an apology the world doesn't revolve around you insert person offended furthermore it is toxic to push your personal boundaries onto somebody else especially if you don't know them and expect or force them to fit your worldview if your personal boundary is conflicted by the content you watch you should have moved on instead of guilt tripping said creator okay which is actually should be a great reminder or like if this could be something like you can slap in the head of everyone from the cancel culture it should be because the thing is like this is very true like even in the real life situation like if someone or like a stranger or a friend accidentally or unconsciously offended you you don't really expect an apology or an explanation because it was supposed to be accidentally or a joke like the world has so many people it's not just revolving around you and especially like when also it when it comes to like the content creator like for example like toast he has he has so many people like following him like one million two million or more than that and then you a one person getting offended and you expect him to apologize or explain because you just got offended by the jokes that actually other people seems to enjoy like come on like grow up like again the world doesn't revolve around you okay so that is all for today bye